What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this collection of 10 fragrances to me is some of the absolute best smelling fragrances you can get your nose on here in 2024 that I strongly encourage you check out for one reason or another. There's some variety here. There's some more affordable stuff. There's some designers. We even have a little bit of niche sprinkled in here. So you're bound to find something you like that I suggest you get out and start sniffing on. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. Starting with my personal favorite designer released so far in 2024, this is Boss The Scent Elixir from Hugo Boss. This stuff is magnificent. Pimento spiced, still has that sweet, slightly boozy Meninka fruit smell. Woodsy aromatic, but man, this smells so good. And the funny thing is, with Magnetic, the previous year's release I thought was the best in the line. They went out and they topped it with this one. It smells so good. It smells kind of like a cross between Spice, Spice Bomb Infrared meets Boss the Scent. It is absolutely phenomenal. Performance is great on this one. Get out to a Macy's. Check it out in the link below. Something. Just get out and smell this because it smells that good. Again, that's Boss the Scent Elixir. This next one I literally just wore in the last couple of days. I do prefer it to Dior Sauvage. Um, I have this one particular person that keeps commenting it smells nothing like Sauvage. You, sir, crack me up every time I see that. Um, but most people get it. It smells like a very tropical, fruity take on Sauvage. This is Jasada's Ambassador for Men. This is some really good stuff. Great performer. Has a beautiful magnetic cap. Great atomizer. And a phenomenal smell. It has that metallic shower gel smell, but mango, fruits, citruses, a little bit of spice. This is good stuff. Great performance. Wife's a big fan of this one, as am I. I think this is very underappreciated for how good it actually is, and I would highly encourage you check this out if you like the crowd pleasers, just like stuff that smells really good and performs really good, and is also highly versatile, you'll probably like Jasada Ambassador. Now this one got mixed reviews when it came out last year. I actually think it's a nice addition to the collection. We're talking about Giorgio Armani's Aqua de Jo Parfum. This kind of replaced Profumo, and that's where people get disgruntled, because why not just keep Profumo? I'm sure there was something with the IFRA regulations that required a reformulation, and they rebottled it with a very good looking gray gradient bottle. It still smells like a, I guess, basically a reformulated Profumo. You get more greens, less incense, though it still has that incense as it dries, incense patchouli combo, but you get more of the fresh, spicy green smell, a lot of a, that aquatic smell from the original's DNA. Performs really well, still smells in the vein of Aqua de Jo. It's good stuff. Really good stuff that I think was a welcomed addition to the collection. If Profumo's going to go, at least we got a slightly fresher take on Profumo's, kind of how I look at it, uh, which I do agree. Profumo's the greatest they've ever done, personally, but I do think this is a good replacement if that was going to be the route, and they phased that out to bring this in. I'm happy with it. It performs good. It smells good. What else can you ask for? Aqua de Jo, Parfum. So to me, this is a brand new release that far exceeds the scent profile of its original. It still has its original's DNA, but we're talking about Desir Toxic Lintense from M. Mikalef. This is loaded with mint leaf that I get from start to finish. That's the biggest difference. You get the hemp oil, that slight cannabis smell, smoky green. You get that fruity black currant tone. It has that sensual seduction that the original Desir Toxic is known for, but brightened up and freshened up with mint leaf, and it is a truly more intense flanker. Uh, it's a stronger fragrance overall, and honestly, it's a better daytime wear than the original. This is one of my favorite releases of the year. This is some good stuff. It's going to be hard for them to beat because I know they'll have a few other releases this year because last year they had two really good ones that stood out to me with Red Colorado and Gin Tonic. Gin Tonic is amazing. Red Colorado is great. But Gin Tonic, oh, magnifique when it comes to freshies. And they freshened up what most would argue their best fragrance with an intense flanker. And again... Strongly encourage you get a sample and check this one out, especially if you were a fan of the original. This is here, Toxically Intense. So I just got this one, and I am just late to the party. It's so good. How did I not get my nose on Bad Boy Cobalt beforehand? 
I'm so glad to have this. The glass is blue, the scent is blue. It starts off, it's pretty synthetic throughout, but it starts off sweet, fruity, and spicy, and it dries down into a more synthetic, woody, fresh, slightly spicy blue fragrance. The sweetness actually kind of goes away. There's plum and truffle here, and it starts off sweeter than it dries down to, and performance seems to be pretty good on my skin as well. Don't get me wrong, I like the new Elixir Flanker to this. It's really good, it's much sweeter, it's a thicker aroma, it's great. But year round, this is my kind of jam. Next time I revamp a blue fragrance list, this is going in it. I'm really digging this fragrance. Um, some of you watching this have probably already tried this, I'm sure. Some of you haven't though. Like me, I'm late to getting this one, but phew, man. If you haven't gotten your nose on this one yet, let 2024 be the year for Bad Boy Cobalt. Now this was heavily recommended to me by a lot of viewers because they know I love Iris. This is a smoky woodsy Iris that is chef's kiss. This is CH Passion from Carolina Herrera. We got back to back Carolina Herrera fragrances because they've been putting out some good stuff. This is phenomenal. Phenomenal. A recent fragrance haul that included Strong With You Tobacco. I ended up liking this one slightly more and Strong With You Tobacco almost made this video. I was very torn. Very, very torn. Honorable mention, quick side note, try Strong With You Tobacco. I think it's the best one in the line. But this, for you iris lovers, you need to try this. It's got that, it's got that waxiness. Kind of the, more like the iris from Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boisse. Imagine that woody, slightly spiced aroma with that particular iris note. Now, add a pretty hefty incense smoky tone to it you get this this is nine out of ten kind of good this is fantastic great performer smells sensual yet still very masculine at the same time for being based around a flowery note like iris this is still quite the masculine phrase my wife thought this was amazing when i let her smell it the other night you should really get your nose on this especially if you're a fan of iris this is ch passion a true hype beast that some people are being disappointed by because loads of people are buying bottles of this blindly because it's a Latafa fragrance and you're going to have to buy it blindly unless you find a decant site decanting bottles, which I'm sure there's some out there. But Latafa Asad Zanzibar. I'm actually a fan of it. I've been wearing it pretty much once a week since I got it. Performs really well on me. I get salt water meets coconut, slightly creamy coconut, coconut, and the vanilla incense combo smells like roasted tonka beans in the dry down to me. It's literally that simple on my nose. I get great longevity. It's not overwhelmingly strong in projection, but it's very present. <sighs> Tropical. If you like coconut scents, I can't imagine too many people not liking this. I have seen people saying weak performer. I have been seeing people say they were underwhelmed or they were disappointed and that's the risk you're going to take when you're blind buying. So blind buy at your own risk. There's no guarantees just because I'm really digging this one. Doesn't mean you will. But if you like coconut fragrances or you have a similar taste to mine, some of you longtime viewers that follow along with the channel, you're the people I would recommend to give this one a shot. It smells great to me. I don't think it's the hype beast of all hype beasts, but I understand why it's getting hyped, and me continually talking about it is aiding in the hype, I'm sure. I'm not naive to how it works, I understand, but I like it. I think it smells great, it performs great. It's like 35 bucks, and it's not a clone, it's an original. Latafa Asad Zanzibar. Now, I just came to the realization after the last time I wore this fragrance last week that I kind of do like it more than its original. When I first got it, I was like, no, I still like Hawass more. That's not the case now. Hawass Ice, I think, it's overtaken the original to me. That mint note here with that fruity, aquatic, bubblegummy type of smell, you take away the spice from Hawass, you add the mint note. It's a synthetic mint. It doesn't smell like mint leaf. It's more like mint gum, if you will. Great performance, super attractive, mass appealing, everyday wear for somebody that likes fresh. If you like fresh and aquatic, you'll probably like this. Is it the most natural smell? Far from it. But it does smell really good. And it's gotten right in that sweet spot around 50 bucks where Hawass and its flanker belong. That's kind of been the ideal price point area for people to grab them. It's a great performer. It smells really good. And it's very affordable. It checks all the boxes. Get your nose on this one if you haven't smelled it yet this year. It's Rasasi Hawass Ice. 
one that myself and my wife seem to very, very much enjoy. This is another one I was kind of late to the party on. You look at the notes and they have some darker nuances to it that I don't really get. I get fresh, aldehydic, soapy clean, a little minty green, citrus, fresh. I get all those things from Nishane's EGE. I'm a big fan of this fragrance. It smells amazing on me. It's a very strong projector for the first hour and a half or so. Lasts a long time. This is soapy clean fresh with real nuance and depth on top of just being soapy clean fresh. There's a lot more going on here. Again, I don't distinctively smell things like, I want to say it's like licorice and incense or something like that. Could be mistaken, but something like that. I don't really get heavy hits of those nuances. I'm not saying they're, they're not there supporting and creating other accords that I am getting joy out of. But man, this is a great performer. For niche, it's on the more affordable side. 100 mLs go around 130 to 140. I paid like right under 100 for this 50 mL. I think it was like 95 I paid or something like that. Uh, and I'm super happy with it. I don't necessarily need a 100 mL, but if I would have ended up having to get a 100 mL because it would be the only thing available at the time, I wouldn't be disappointed to have a bigger bottle just so I could enjoy it that much longer in the future. Check out EGE from Nishane if you haven't yet. Last but not least, though I do recommend its original, that it, this is flanker from, more. This one's grown on me quite a bit, and I feel like it deserves some shine, so that's why we're going to talk about the Most Wanted Parfum instead of the Most Wanted this time, because I've talked about the Most Wanted Parfum recently. This is really good in its own right. This is a little bit sweeter, has more of a like fiery wood type of smell to it versus the additional spiciness that I get, like it's cardamom if I remember correctly, of the Most Wanted. This isn't as much on the heavy toffee sweet, it's a different type of sweet. It smells similar to the Most Wanted, but they're kind of their own fragrance at the same time. Great performer, crowd pleasing type of stuff. This is a good one, and this is a lot of people's favorite in the Wanted line, and I totally understand that orangish color, very fitting. It's this ambery, sweet, slightly spiced, woodsy fragrance that just will pull a compliment, lasts a long time, leaves a pretty good trail. It's a fun, playful scent. It's nothing serious that I would dress up, but for a casual night off or a cool day where you're not just rocking a t-shirt, I think you'll get some joy out of this. Get your nose on it if you haven't yet. It's Zara, the most wanted parfum. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and love hearing from you guys. Of these 10, what have you tried? What are you familiar with? I'll try to have links down below for everything if you're interested in checking them out. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. You never know. Have a good one, guys.